Hi everybody, it's Evelyn Graphics here. Um, it's tutorial time. Um, this tutorial is about how to do the square stitch. You will need two pieces of bone goggle. Um, they can be as long as you want them. Today, um, you can see these aren't very long just because I got it out of my handy dandy scrap bag. Um, Okay, let's get started. Um, okay, to start off, what you want to do is you want to stretch them out um, as you know, however long they are, so that they're even, and um, line them up so that there is a loop at the bottom. Um, the loops should okay be even if they, you cut your straight with even. These aren't because of course they're not even. So um grab a lot of people do this different. They say to lay it over your finger and to do it like that. I think it's a lot easier to grab the middle if you do this and have it like this. That way you just pull where the loop is and now you're in the middle. You want to lay them over your finger in R X. Can you see that? I want to make sure you can see this. Okay, so you have an X on your fingers. Starting with the string that's furthest away from you, you want to pull it over toward you. You take the one that's toward you and pull it over away from you. So now you have these two loops. Okay? Take the string on the right and you want to go over. A tail, which this this gray one is a tail. You can see that. That's the tail. So you're gonna go over the tail and through the loop. Then you wanna take the one that's on this side, and you wanna go over this tail, you wanna go over the tail and through the loop. And then pull. And you should have something that looks like that. that it's, it's glare through my window is horrible. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. It should look similar to that on the bottom. A square on the top. And that's your starter stitch. Now, to do the rest of the stitches, you're going to follow the same pattern. But this time, it doesn't matter which string you start with. So I'm going to start with the one that is furthest away from me. I'm going to place my finger right there where the square is. I'm going to pull it towards me. Take the one that's towards me, take it away from me, and now for the string on the right, the tail is on the right. So you're going to go over the tail through the loop. The one that's on the left, the tail is on the left, so you're going to go over that tail and through. Ah! And pull. And there is your square stitch. So I'm going to do a couple of these to show you what it looks like. Just to give you an idea of um, how 
it should look in the finish or when it gets so far just to make sure that you're doing it right. And as we get further and further into my um, tutorial, the more advanced they become, I will be showing you shortcuts at um, doing these stitches. Um, a lot of people say that they don't like pulling their stitches really, really tight. I do, just because that's me. So, normally my squares are like extremely skinny. I mean, extremely skinny. And I was doing um, the box stitch um, with beads. And I even use the small pony bead, the like the mini one, because the mini ones are a lot smaller than the regular size ones. And I realized that I was still pulling my stitches extremely tight, and the stitch was smaller than the bead, so I had to start all over. And um, make my stitches a little loose. And I do have on an army fatigue tank top, just in case you were like, oh my gosh, she's wearing an army fatigue tank top, it's so out of style. Yeah, it is, but my husband is in the army, and he's gone. And he won't be back until November. So, this is kind of my way to get close to him, I guess. That's so funny. <laughs> but it's the truth. There are little things that um, I do in the house that um, keep me from being sad because it's gone. And there is the box stitch. So you can keep going. And until your string runs out or until you decide to stop. Um, okay, I hope that tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below in the comment box. Or you can send me a message to my inbox. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure you check out all of my um, collection videos uh, just to see um, all of the things that I can do. Um, I will be doing tutorials on at least half of them. But there is, if there is any specific tutorial that you would like me to do, please let me know and I will make sure to post the video. Bye guys.